Hey everybody, some gadget guy here with a quick look at a new Windows Phone app from Rudy Hoon, the illustrious Windows Phone app developer. And today we're taking a look at Six Discover. In the ongoing saga of Windows Phone and Snapchat, all third-party Snapchat clients have been removed from the Windows Phone app store, but Snapchat has not developed a native app for our phone platform, which means Windows Phone users have also been denied the ability to play with the new Snapchat Discover service, which serves up really interesting news and stories in a very Snapchat-y video mixed multimedia kind of way. So Rudy is not trying to replicate the entire Snapchat experience because likely that app would just get pulled again. Instead, he is focusing solely on that Discover service. So if we go into 6Discover, we're gonna get that tile layout. And now we've got access to all of these little stories. We can jump into ESPN, People, Warner Music, CNN, and each one of these is updated every 24 hours. We can tap on the Food Network, get a fun little splash screen that pops up, it loads very quickly, and now we've got C's for Cheese Edition Cauliflower, a cauliflower mac and cheese. Really cute little snippets of video and audio play along with every single story. Let's go into CNN and see what the story is there. This is CNN. Fleeing a city on the brink. That's kind of an intense story about ISIS there, but if we scroll up, we've got access to a three-minute news clip right here. And it's streaming really well. Jumping into Yahoo News. Let's see what we've got. Here's what's happening. <laughs> of course, Yahoo News is talking about the new Star Wars trailer. I, I got a little choked up at the end of this trailer. I can't, I can't lie. As much as I'm trying to be skeptical, I am getting really stoked for the, uh, for the new Star Wars film coming out later this year. Of course, if we click on the Daily Mail, it's probably going to be... Ah, uh, yep, that's it is. Selena Gomez in a bikini. <laughs> Good job, Daily Mail. Just like Snapchat's actual official version of Discover is part of their Snapchat app, this is a really quick and streamlined way to interact with small pieces of news and content and entertainment, nicely laid out and easily digestible. Now, Snapchat updates their Discover feeds every 24 hours, but we do have a little button down here at the bottom if we want to manually refresh the content that's being fed to this Discover service. And this little glow button down at the bottom is actually kind of cool in that it allows us to manually select which region we want to be pulling content from. If you want to see what Discover users are checking out in Australia, you totally can. Other than that, there really aren't any other settings to customize. The only other menu option is this About page where we can report bugs, we can send an email, or you can check out other apps by Rudy Hume. Plus, there don't seem to be any issues in streaming this content, and even these little splash graphics seem to fire up exactly the same way they might on Android or iOS. Just to show the difference in layout between this third-party version of the Discover service and the official Snapchat version of the Discover service, you can see Rudy Hoon has done a terrific job of translating the layout even down to the individual icons for each of these little news and entertainment outlets. To show that performance is pretty similar, these phones are both connected to the same Wi-Fi hotspot. I'm going to click on Cosmo. And the Android version launched ever so slightly faster, but I would say performance is so close that the audio from both of these phones is synced up pretty close. Okay, take a scroll up, and it looks like both of these are scrolling through stories about the same way. No real perceivable lag or any issues there. In fact, the, uh, the only major difference between the, uh, the official Snapchat version and Rudy Hoon's solution is that Rudy is a third-party developer who needs to monetize his apps in a different way. So there are small ads built into the bottom of each of the stories that are posted through the Discover service. I don't know if he'll eventually make a paid version of the app, which will get rid of those ads, but seeing as how there's no other alternative for Windows Phone users to interact with Snapchat Discover, I guess having small little ads at the bottom of the screen will just have to be the compromise we need to make to interact with this service. So folks, Rudy Hoon's 6 Discover is now live in the Windows Phone app store, totally free to download. You just have to put up with those small little ads at the bottom of your stories. And while I'm not a huge user of the Snapchat, I think we can all agree that it's a bummer that we don't have a dedicated Snapchat client for Windows Phone devices. But at least we now have the ability to interact with one of Snapchat's more popular new services. I'll of course leave a link down below this video where you can download 6Tag, install it on your very own Windows Phone. As always folks, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe for more videos and reviews like these. And I would not be able to continue producing on this channel if you all weren't out there sharing my videos on social sites like Reddit and Twitter and Google Plus and the Facebook. So keep bringing more cool people to the party. Hit that thumbs up button, and I will catch you all on the next review.